Hello Xboxers, welcome back to iTechnology Reviews. So after 11 months the Xbox One S broke down. So is that problem from displaying port, the black screen, it's not displaying anything. My first thinking was that the TV out port was uh, loose enough from that soldering. So um, I uh, managed to open up the Xbox, but it wasn't that problem. So today we're gonna make a review and tutorial about how can you repair the Xbox One S, how can you open it up, we're gonna show you how to open it up, and you got to find yourself in your city someone who makes rebowling or reflowing. I'm gonna explain you these two procedures, but first I'm gonna tell you the problem of this unit. It's loosened up the graphic the GPU chip so it's loose enough from the main board and uh, it will give you problems first the users had to do a reset to this uh, unit by holding it up there are a lot of tutorials about showing you how to uh, open up and reset your console this is not the way to do it this will not help you it will lower your resolution to 6040 by uh, 480 and uh, it will uh, the image will eventually show up on the tv but when you try to put it to the hd the 720 or the 1080 it will not give you an image because that GPU unit is loose enough from the main board. That soldering is unglued. Uh, there are tiny, tiny balls, a lot of balls, and from heat, the soldering is loosened up. I'm gonna tell you a little bit of this rebowling. So, the first problem comes from the overheating. So, this is the main problem, and now the soldering uh, from the overheating of this console it uh, especially i take out that radiator the fan radiator and the thermal paste was like rock was solid rock was not a paste anymore from the fluid state was in the solid state because of the overheating that is not a quality uh, thermal transferring paste i don't understand why microsoft didn't use a good quality with titanium what cooling master for example makes uh, with some kind of silver compound and that it's a good transferring paste we made a tutorial and review how to cool down your uh, xbox 360 if it gives you error so now we're gonna try to fix uh, this console i hope we're getting lucky in the reboiling process in the reflowing process let's see how to open up and uh, we're gonna show you step by step and don't skip this tutorial guys because it's very important to damage your console i gotta warn you in the back of this console you have a seal if you broke this seal um you will lose warranty so i broke this seal i lo i lost my warranty because i was sure that the uh tv out port will have problems so guys first of all when you want to open it up i will use some plastic tools uh, i think they will help me uh, open it up more easier so opened it up gently and easily I wasn't too gently when I opened up the previous time the Xbox you got to use a, a plastic tool and it's not that hard you will leave marks eventually but you will uh, you will succeed So now guys, we have these green screws. First of all, we're gonna take this green screws outside. So now, take out every component. It, can, it will loose up pretty easily. First thing, take out the hard drive. I have one screw left. Take out, it's best to take out all the screws. We'll take out even the screws from the main processor unit. And we'll use a smaller head so now guys you have in this side a small clip use whatever you want use some tool just to loose up this power connection you see the clip you have to press on this side here and you will loosen up this is the power source 
On this side are two connectors for the hard drive. Be careful on the SATA cables, taking them out. And in this side, it's also a power connector for the Blu-ray reader and the connector for the SATA. Next, uh, the trickiest part is uh, here you have also a bracket for the USB, a metal bracket. You got to take out this connection board. You have two boards, one is Wi-Fi, one is strictly the power buttons and the reset and the, I don't know. So guys, remove the bracket, use a screwdriver and insert it like this. Put the screwdriver here and do a bending action like this. This is the way to remove this processor or this unit, graphic unit. The problem is that it was having a lot of paste. I removed 50% of the paste and the paste, guys, is not a paste anymore. It's very hard. It's a solid material that is not, look, it's fragmentating. It's not a paste anymore and in 11 months this had to be liquid, still liquid. In years this is the effect you will see on the processors. And if you see they put too much paste from factory all over the CPU. So I think this is the general problem, the overheating and it's uh, not making contacts on, uh, on the mainboard uh, himself. So guys, first of all, we try to reflow. This is not a professional procedure, but we try to reflow the GPU. This didn't work. The next problem you will see is that HDMI connector. So we switch them to a Rebo Link station, the input port with the output port. These ports are quite sensible. So we switch the input with the output and this was not the problem. The image was still down. We had no image or um, oscillating image on the HDMI on the 720 or 1080. So after digging up on the internet we found out that this little guy here is the problem. So this is the central processing unit for the HDMI output. This chip was the problem. So after ordering a new chip and rebowling with the new chip, the main board work out. So if you have problems guys, this part will, uh, will be eventually. But you got to know that also it can make you problems the GPU or the this output port. Change directly this uh, CPU of the HDMI. So now guys, let's verify the unit. I turn it on and let's see the resolution. This is our mini cinema with high resolution sound and a screen of 4 meters diagonal. And I want to see here a dispense sound. Oh yeah, yeah, it's totally working. I don't know if this resolution will work, this 14 by 40, no, but 1080p it's working, it depends on your TV. This is a full HD projector, so uh, it's working guys at the refresh, 60 frames per second, that it's for me it's enough. Uh, let's see all the modes, should work on the 50p, yeah. Yes, it's working. 
so all the modes work even uh, this is a 3d let's turn on the 3d image yes it's working so all so all the function works and I'm happy to have my Xbox One S console repaired. So guys, we hope this uh, tutorial will help you solve your Xbox One S problems. So if you like our video, if this video helped you, please thumbs up for this video and support us guys on our channel by subscribing that button. Have a great day. See you guys. Bye.